Hello everyone, and we are back. We're gonna play some mini motorways today. Now I've already been dabbling a little bit. I really enjoyed the original. So I played yesterday's daily challenge. I played this yesterday, but I don't know if this is a new one. No, oh, there I am, right there. Um, scored pretty well on both of them. But what I really want to do right now is get into Los Angeles, see if we can get a nice 2000 plus score like I did here really want to show you some of the strategies for this game so without further ado let's hop in and just like the rest of the videos that I'm gonna make for this series I'm gonna start with some basics so always have straight roadways if you can because these cars if unimpeded will always move at a specific speed they don't really have many things other than that for them from what I understand they'll always take the minimum distance so this car will go next because it's slightly closer than this one Outside of that, I believe these slipways are a little bit better than just straight up corners, so you should always play with that as well. You never want to block traffic, so like the other way to do it would be like a cross like this. That's probably a bad idea, <laughs> so don't do that. With these, you can get a lot more traffic moving through without as many stops. Now, what you'll notice is also that this one house is enough to service one of these, and that's really just dependent on the location. If this was farther away, or the road was longer, if I made it snake like this, for example, we might need more than one house. But because it's so close, we don't even really need the second yellow house. Now, we come into a bit of an issue here. For now, it's not a big deal. We can just connect like this. We might need two houses just to keep up with the distance, but we're going to be looking for ways to reduce this in the future. Of course, a roundabout would be great if we could get a roundabout right here. That is the perfect spot for it. So we'll be looking for that on our first upgrade, which comes in about now. Bridge and traffic lights. There is one river in this game that can cause you a bit of, tra uh, a bit of havoc. It's the Los Angeles River down here, so, you know, we're going to make sure that we have bridges going into that. We have two right now, so we can do two bridges across. Now we see this pop up in a lot more houses. So what we can do is take... Oh, actually, no, we can't yet. See, this is an expanding map, so we'll do this for now. And that might be the shorter distance. You know what? That might actually be best. Because now, yeah, we have to take this around this way. So it worked out. And, of course, we can hook this up, making sure to do those slipways where we can. It's a little less space efficient, but it can lead to better uh, outcomes overall. Now, these two we don't really need to do anything with. This store is completely serviced just by this one right here. What we do see is a little bit of a pileup happening here, but it's not enough to really be concerned about. If a yoga house spawns anywhere around here, then it's basically solved. What we might want to do is something like this. So then we have this one going to either one of the two. And again, we don't get the roundabout. So we'll keep going with this. I really would like to avoid... Really like to avoid those traffic lights. Eventually you'll get something like this where there's a little bit of a traffic jam. But it's not that big of a deal. Especially for this early game setup. Once we start expanding outwards, then maybe, yeah, we'll have to consider other things, but for now, this is good. And this is a good start. What we're looking to do is segregate, separate, make sure there's not connections where there doesn't have to be. And we've got quite a few robe tiles to play with to make that happen. Something that we could do or look into is make this less efficient, but more space saving, something like this. Oops, let's put him back on. And now that we have this one popping up here, Let's slow down for a second so I can get this set up. We can bring this around and cut this road off entirely. So then this store is completely serviced by these two, and this can come down to here. Is it optimal? Probably not, but um, these red houses aren't spawning in very well. What we'd want is a little bit more here. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> But we can make it work. We can always make it work. I think what we'll want to do is... Uh, ooh, actually, hey, there's a roundabout. Perfect timing. 
let's pause for just a moment. I don't think we need the roundabout anymore, at least for the moment. These two are still completely fine. This store is going to need at least two blues, so I hope they give us a couple more. This one can probably manage just on its own. It's just out of range though, so it might need a little bit of help here and there. But both of these distances are quite large. Now, back to what I was saying. We've got yellow basically on its own here. So if one of these pops into a level 2 store, all we have to do is connect more yellow. We could make a road right here, for example. And then this connects in. Very little disruption to the flow of traffic. We throw in a roundabout right there, and we've basically got this set up. And we don't need it yet, so we won't really do much. And what we also know is that Santa Monica Bay on the left side is the edge of the map. You won't see anything past the left here, so what we know is that a lot of this won't spawn anything weird. This blue house is a bit unfortunate, but it's nothing too serious. And as we can see, we have a good distance here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, and a sideways tile, so about seven. Let's call it seven. And that's enough time for this car to get all the way back before this one has to go. Now, because there's two cars, you're always looking for a distance of this car making it over there. Uh, I think I should reword that, actually. When one of these pips pops up, you should always have one car ready to go. That's a better way to say it. And if that's true, then you never have to worry about this line becoming too uh, slow. Once it starts going past that, then you have to start thinking about adding a different line in, maybe switching things up. But outside of that, we are pretty much set. Now what we can do here, and I think it is what I will do, I'll make a new road here, cut this one off, and then bring this red one up. A motorway, always take the motorways if you can. There are some instances in other uh, scenarios where you don't want a motorway. We will get into that once we get there. But for Los Angeles, it's just the starter map. You don't have to worry about it too much. In most cases, the roundabout is exactly what you want. Or sorry, not the roundabout. The motorway is exactly what you want. Bridges, motorways, they really help, especially when you get some weird subdivision back here and you'd have to cross two rivers to get to somewhere else. You can nix that. The motorway counts basically as two bridges in that scenario and countless, countless roads. Now again, let's do a quick checkup. This one's still doing great. We still have two cars in this garage. So that's not an issue. This one's still... Actually, no, we need a little bit more help on this one. See how this car can't get back in time anymore? And then this one is also struggling. So we're going to be looking for some sort of light blue house to connect. Now, we're getting a little bit starved. Worst case scenario, we can bring this one up and move it to one of these, do a bit of movement. But for now, this is good. We have quite a few bridges, or well, we did have quite a few bridges, we only have one left, so I'm going to take this again. Still haven't seen a use for a traffic light yet, so there's no point in spending money on that. I'm really hoping for a couple more light blues here. And again, we're not seeing... You know what, it might be time to bring this up. And we'll just slot in that roundabout. And now we've basically secured yellow. These yellow houses, they can just chill together. <laughs> if we need them, we can put them on a motorway. But other than that, these are serviced well, this is serviced okay. And another green comes in, sure. So we're basically good on green. Red's good. This yellow looks like it's a little bit under the weather, a little bit heated. But I think it's just catching up. We have quite a few yellows. It is speeding up. Ooh, and now we have to play a little bit over here. Let's connect a little bit like this. That'll cause a little bit of a traffic mix up here and here. And uh, okay, now we have to really start thinking. <laughs> so this is a level two building, which means there's going to be a lot of traffic coming in through this. What we can do is really try and funnel things over. But again, it'll cause some sort of issue. What we can do is give these two buildings, I assume more will spawn. So we'll just keep it like this for now. And then we'll just hold our breath. That's more or less what we'll do. This will give it three houses, four houses for it to just siphon off of. 
This one will have two, and that should be enough. There's five houses. And at this point, I'd start to consider... Wow, another house. Uh, I'd start to consider if I could make this more efficient. Could I bring a motorway from here all the way to here? And then basically reduce traffic time as much as possible. I think that's actually something we want to consider. Especially now that we have two motorways. Another blue house spawns up here. That's a bit of an issue for us. Because we still have this really strained connection. So I've got it paused right now. I think what we will do is just this. Put this about here. So there's lots of space for them to get onto the motorway. It doesn't seem like a large motorway. But it's a straight line distance right to this edge. And it should do quite well. We can even put it here and then connect it on this way. Delete this, and then I think that is a little bit better than the usual. We'll put one straight road through, one connecting like this, and then this one will come in on this side. Looks a little bit messy, but overall I think that'll work out just fine. Let's see how that plays out. We've got three pips basically constantly on these two. Things are speeding up we're not seeing too much of an issue. We can bring this across. Ooh, that was a mess. That'll help alleviate some of the issues up there. Now remember, travel distance is also factored in. So this won't go until it knows that there aren't any more cars from here. Does that mean that it'll get there faster? No, not really. We're actually going to probably have four cars going to this one, even though there's usually only three pips. Now why is this one... Oh, this just spawned. Okay. Uh, good thing we have that extra motorway. Let's set it up right here. Actually, we'd want it somewhere away from the main flow of traffic. So we'll, we'll sacrifice a little bit of efficiency to put it in the back of the motorway, or in the back of the spot, and then only connect a couple to it for now. That allows these ones to prioritize coming down here so we don't starve this one out while saying, hey, you really need to get over there. Um, so get over there right now. And I think what we'll also do is make it bring the people here. This is a low traffic road, so it's better to let them merge in like that. And this looks a little scary. It'll fix itself pretty quick. So now let's do a bit of a, a re-survey. This one's now under control because of that large one. We're taking the motorway for certain. This one's under control. This yellow section is completely safe. And what we really want to make sure is that once these red ones come in, or not the red ones, once we get these level 2 buildings, the circles, we need to feed them as many people as possible because those are the ones that will cause us issues in the late game. What else are we seeing? We're seeing a lot of green pop up. We're seeing a lot of congestion here. Everything else looks fairly okay. This little red house it's causing a couple problems. We could make it so that it comes around this way. And then green gets more or less a straight shot. That is a bit of an issue. <laughs> but it looks like they're, they're upgrading this blue neighborhood, so we can probably connect all this up and not have an issue. It makes the map a little bit less nice looking, and I can already see a bit of an issue starting here. If we get like a, let's say, a yellow building right here, might be an issue. But for now, this is going well. And from here, we're just looking for pain points. This is a bit of a pain point because it just upgraded, but we're working on it. It shouldn't be too bad. Around about right about here, this is probably the best spot for it. That'll let yellow get in and out nice and easy. Green is less disrupted. These two buildings, one of them could upgrade tomorrow, and it wouldn't be an issue. That, okay. <laughs> Alright, this one's a little bit of a pain point, uh, but we can always hook it in as like a back entrance up here. Something like this. This will get prioritized, I believe, and we could even rotate this around so it's a little bit longer of a path. But now this one store can have its own people. And again, th this is the big point about this game that I want to make, especially in Los Angeles where it's very spread out. You might get something over here, you might get something over there. If you can make these little pockets of safety, then that's exactly what you, what you want. 
this is a little bit dicey. Uh, and we could definitely siphon a couple houses over to it. Like this. These ones will prioritize down there. I could even go so far as to cut off here, but I really want to make sure that this is always as full as possible. And let's reassess everything as a whole. So we've got this red subdivision. It's feeding directly into this problem point, the, the level two building. We've got the yellow subdivision. It's working out great. We've got another blue, light blue coming up here. So, oh my goodness, it just immediately leveled up. So let's grab a bridge and then pause. Now we have a motorway still. And I think that's how we want to play this. So if we, that is a, that's not a motorway. If we put something down here, then this can service only the blues. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, we can say, cut this off, bring it up here, and cut this off too, I believe. I don't think we need this bridge anymore once that's built. Yeah. Now, what is this happening down here? Is that a, it's, this is a dark blue building. It's hiding underneath the off ramp so let's pull this up and just slot that in there that'll help with this but more importantly we now have this straight shot to this little level two spot we hook in all these uh, and then this can come down like this and this one as well four should be enough but i'll still connect this road just in case they need a little bit more help and then that's pretty much it we can pull these up so that these are even more directly linked to this one. These two are still on standby in case things get crazy, but look, you can see that there's four cars over here still, so we're not even stressed right now. And we're still getting more light blues, so <laughs> we're doing fine. Now that doesn't mean that we are out of danger, because we did just have this pop up and immediately go to level two. So especially once we're working on getting these growing pains sorted. This bridge will help, but we're still going to need to keep pumping cars to it. And we still have three bridges. So if we do need more throughput through here, we can always hook this back up. I might do that just as a, a precaution. Slam this one down and immediately these cars go across because they know that is the shortest distance. Here we have a bit of an issue. Let's bring this yellow all the way in. Immediate straight path to it. The roundabout should be enough, but we do want to monitor this pretty well. These ones are coming in. This one can switch now. And we're getting a bunch of yellow buildings right here. That should be fine. Now we still have two bridges, so we always take the motorway in this case. And we say, what's struggling? This is struggling real hard. <laughs> Can we make this better by increasing the number of motorways that service it? Yes, very much so. And not only that, we can even probably make a motorway from here down instead of having it the other way. That way we have a large amount of traffic coming in here. Cut this off. Then these three feed into this only which is more than enough. Any extra overflow comes in here, that's fine. But it means that this is now more or less on its own island. And again, we're seeing these islands pop up. This is good. How can we make this a little more efficient? Well, we can make it do something like this. Make a completely separate road for blue. Cut that off. And we're going to have to destroy this intersection and rebuild it, but... Something like that would also help a lot. So then we have green and red coming into this. We've got the extra reds up here that can be funneled in. No problem. These yellows are doing fine still. What we will want to watch is this blue right here. Because we just got rid of its like safety net of cars up here. So it'll be imperative that we make sure that these connections down here don't get too jammed up. And more or less that's about it. We can get rid of this road now that it's not used. We can make these into a little bit more of a slipway so that it kind of merges instead of does it like a hairpin. Let's just move this out of the way. If you pull on these you can move the bridges. We'll just redo this road a little bit so it's a little more 
uniform. And then we'll do a quick search around the map. What's missing? What's not connected? Is this enough? Yes. Can we connect these in any way? No. Does it need it? No. So let's just point these together. Whoops. Let's point these. Po point these. Point these together. There we go. <laughs> and that can be our visual indicator to say these two are doing absolutely nothing. And that's okay. That's completely fine. We see this. We understand this. Green is still doing great. We have this one that's actually facing the wrong way, so our throughput can get a little bit higher there. This red car doesn't really need to be facing this way, so we'll face it this way. And we'll move this bridge back so we can see a little bit better over here for this red subdivision. Are there any other pain points? Don't think so. Just gotta watch this one. Let's keep going. White blue is definitely the, the pain problem for this one, but I mean, every single time we get a yellow house down here, this problem goes away a little bit more. It looks like this one is now solved. I am half tempted to even cut this road right here to see if that helps with some of the congestion. Let's give that a shot. See how this goes. It has five, no, two, four, five houses for its own doing. And that might be an issue right there. So this just upgraded to a level two. We only have the three houses servicing it. As far as I know, we need about four. We have this one down here as well. So it looks like, at least on this side, we'll have to do something like this and hook these into the main line down here. Now this will cause a bit of a traffic build up here, but I think that's fine if we just hook it into the roundabout. Make sure we get it as as uh, separate as possible, but I think that's not going to be the case. They're going to have to share. That's fine. I don't want to take it all the way around. That would be a huge waste of roads. Uh, it would be nice to have it that separate, but that's that's a little extra. So we'll just let it happen like this. And that should be good. And once again, I really want to keep stressing this. We have different subdivisions. Now, the one thing that might cause an issue now that we have this big building over here and these connected to the main track is that they might see the, the two highway and see that this is a problem and funnel things across. So if that starts to happen, if this becomes, let's say, four out of six or five out of six, we will have to take these all the way around, give them their own loop. And we could even do that preemptively, see if we have enough roads to even manage that. I don't think we do. Yeah, no, so we need a couple more roads for that to happen, so we have to wait until at least Sunday for that. For now, we'll just watch it. This one's getting real dicey. Getting a couple more blues, so we'll make sure that those are always connected as fast as possible. Right onto the roundabout, perfect. Lawless execution. There's another one right there. And we'll just go slow for this next day, because there's a lot to make sure that it has to all get done. Uh, this road is not servicing anything anymore, I don't think. I think this is now enough. So we can even do this, remove that road, and make a bridge that completely separates these blues from the rest. Now, when I'm doing this, I want to make sure that I don't ruin anything. So I'm going to go slow once more. Make a little bit of a slipway here. Cut this road just for now. Just so I can give get a better visual of what I need. Come in like this. Oh, I'm out of roads, right. Pull some of those back. So now we've got a bit of a wonky intersection here. Not a big deal. There's not a lot of traffic coming in through here. And we can cut this. We can... You know what? We can even cut this, bring the reds around this way. And that might be enough to service this entirely, so let's just unhook this and leave these again, as we say. We're going to make them face each other. Then we know as a visual indicator we don't need these yet. And that is pretty good. Cut some of these corners, make it a little more efficient. So now we have one, two, three, four, five coming into this. That should be enough. Hopefully that's enough. Let's rotate this so we have three different streams and cut all these extras. 
Oh, there's actually this one down here too. So we can, let's rotate the house itself. So it points this way, cut here, and there we go. That is our dark blue setup. And then we'll just do a quick look around, cursory glance, make sure everything under the bridges is connected. Yes, we're good there. This is super silly. We don't need this, this large loop anymore. So we'll cut this like that. Grab a couple extra roads back from this. Rotate these so that they face where we want them to go instead of just <laughs> willy-nilly every way. We're not seeing any issues with this setup, so this road is doing great. Yellow still hasn't upgraded over here, so I think it's more or less done. I think it's basically just said, we're done, we don't need you to do anything else over here. That's great for me, I don't mind. If I can get this back road set up, I would love, 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 so if I could redo some of these green connections so they don't face towards the center bit. Because this is just going to continue to become more congested. We do have two bridges left, and I'm seeing a bit of a way that we could make this a little better. Just a little bit of redesign. Something like this, and then like this, and then like this, and this. And then green gets its own path. And can just divert right past the roundabout. So even if this becomes congested, we still have two houses feeding into this. And I think that's as good as we're going to get for now. So let's continue the day. It's almost the end of Sunday, so we'll get some sort of reward. Maybe it'll be a, a motorway. A roundabout is pretty good. I will take that. And we don't have to slow anything down. I think it's going to go here just because of how much traffic we're going to get. Don't see any other places that are really useful for this, so let's put it right here for now. We're seeing more blue houses pop up, so that makes me think that they're going to try and give us more blue issues. Not a big deal, we're doing fine. We do have this down here. It's generating quite a few problems by itself. And I think it's just a matter of distance, so I think this is a good time to actually finish this road and ask ourselves, can we cut off this subdivision again? And I think the answer is yes. We do that, and then rotate this one upwards instead of downwards, and then these ones sideways. Cut that road. We now have another separate division. I would even go so far as to cut here, maybe rotate this, just leave that as like a dead spot. Rotate that, connect here. Now we're getting really wonky with this. I've already accepted that green and yellow live together. They, they're they coexisting. We can't do anything about that. And we're just going to let them do their thing. Green down here is great as like a quick way to get this down. Those pips are piling up just because of how far away it is. So this is huge for this. Same with these yellows. So I'm going to have to make sure that these have some sort of unobstructed way there as well. Or at least not very obstructed. And it might be, it might be good to even, no, I think this is fine for now. I'm, I'm overthinking it at this point. Still have two bridges to think about. There's lots we can still do. So I'm very happy with this so far. We've got another one up here, so we'll connect these. Not seeing any other level two structures that have popped up without me noticing. Just this green one is a little annoying. But with this new greenhouse, I bet you there's going to be another one pop in soon enough. This whole area might be a green subdivision eventually. And we're seeing the purple cars come down. We've got this set up. There's six cars up here. There's lots of yellows coming in. This is just growing pains. We shouldn't be too concerned. Hopefully it's just growing pains. And that's pretty good. We'll rotate these so they're more direct. And it looks like yellow is now a little bit better. Oh, wait, hold on. What's happening over here? Oh, we've cut off all of our yellow. <laughs> How did that happen? These yellows are flashing. Are they not connected to anything? I'm a little confused because I'm pretty sure this roadway 
connects all the way down to here. Yes. It's even saying this one's not connected. So there's something wrong with this setup over here that says we can't get down here. And that is causing a huge pileup happening over here. So I think what we can do is just make another bridge across. And let's just hook it into here and see if that fixes it. It does. And there we go. That should solve our issues for now. Hopefully this figures itself out. I don't know what's wrong with it right now. Maybe it's because there's a bridge right directly against it and that's an issue for it. Huh. I don't know how to respond to this because this is this is valid. I guess we can make like a... Maybe something a little bit more straight like this. And then delete this. Pretend that didn't exist. And I mean, that that might be better. But I really want that roundabout there. Maybe we throw it here and then call it a day. Yeah, let's throw it there and call it a day. Let's see. Cars are going this way. Good, good, good. Cars are coming down here. Good. We've got the red cars coming in there. Another roundabout. I will take that. We're seeing all the reds go away here, so that pain point's gone. Look at all that green traffic. This is looking really messy right now, but once it clears out, it should be fine. And we're on our way to 2,000 points already. Just looking out for any other pain points. Looks like this is doing okay. We need a couple more red houses, or even a motorway. If we could get a motorway straight to here, that would be perfect. That would be wonderful. Connect a couple more to the roads. I think that's as good as we can really get. Like, we're still having issues with this one over here, just because of how far these have to go. And how congested this area is in general. I think if I can manage it, I want to make these point upwards and away from this main traffic flow area. I think that is actually what I want to do, and then point this in, so they all take the, the long way around. And it's a little longer, yes, but... That is a completely unobstructed road. We can even make it so that this doesn't do anything anymore. I think only yellow uses this road other than this. Let's play around with this a little bit. And then instead bring this around. Oh, the edge of the map, no! Okay, we can still make this work. Just don't connect it to the roundabout at all. Dark blue can only service it from that side. And that should be enough to handle things. Seeing a lot of really weird things pop up down here too. And what was here? What was on this road? Did I just disconnect this? Was there any issue with this? Uh, uh oh. Okay, well, it's dark blue now and we, we'll figure it out later. Very nice. More yellow spawning up here, we'll just connect it in, not a big deal. We still have just the level 1 huts, not a big deal at all. Really this pain point down here is the major issue. This motorway is doing, like this highway 1, oh, saved the day, honestly saved the day. Imagine the amount of congestion we would have had down here otherwise. We're still seeing a lot of congestion here, so if we get another roundabout, oh we have another roundabout. Is there anywhere in here that we can fit this? Not really. Nothing really nicely. I think we kind of just have to live with this. And I did see right at the last moment there we had some issues with the light blue over here, really? Is it just a distance issue? I'm not sure. Does it need more cars? No, it's it's doing fine in terms of number of cars. Okay. This one's doing fine now that we're sending more. And this one's fine. This one's fine. This one's fine-ish. <laughs> it's, it's breaking a little, but we still have those two cars left over, so that's fine. Let's just watch this. Make sure nothing crazy is happening. Uh, this green one also doing okay. Is there any way that we could 
reorg this so that yellow has its own pathway down to the yellow spot. Not really, because we at some point we do have to cross over. So if we get a motorway, then we can, but until then, we're kind of just stuck. So we'll watch this. This one's getting a little, again, a little dicey. Still have cars in the garage. I think I'll pop this one down. Just increases the, the congestion here a little bit. Get another one up here. That's good. Two extra cars coming down is not a big, di uh, big issue at all. Really watching this one. The red up there, too. Okay, we're going to go slow for a little bit. I'm not seeing any way that we can make this any better. Just throw more cars at it. Roundabout would be ideal somewhere in here. Can't fit it anywhere in there. Okay. <laughs> Nowhere in here can really fit a roundabout. Maybe up here would be nice, but again, it's just a little too cramped. That, of course, that's fine. That is disgusting. <laughs> that is horrendous. I would like a lawyer right now. It's, I mean, it's an easy fix, but it's it's just more congestion on this road. Um, yeah. Not much else we can do, really. Like, I think we're just reaching the maximum for this map. That might just be what's happening here. We're really... We're hooking up our divisions now, and that's that could be very dangerous to do. So I'm a little wary. Just watching for more red houses to spawn. We're going to go at half, or I guess it's not half speed, but normal speed, just for a little bit. Make sure that things are coming along well. These red cars are actually going all the way up here. So th it does recognize that there, there's a bit of an issue for this one and this one. We're coming into the end of Sunday. And right before it ticks over, I want to look around. We've got a pain point here. Not much to do there. We can attach this one to it. We've got this one that just really needs a little more green traffic this way instead. And we're getting a couple more houses slipping in underneath these highways, so we can fix that up. That should be enough to fix everything, I hope. And I'm, I'm eyeing up the second road as like a yellow highway. Which sounds super crazy, but it might work out really well. So if something like this pops around like that, we cut this again just to make sure the bridge works. Red has to go a little farther. Cut here, cut here. These two, maybe a third one can service that without issue. Like it might be as simple as just like popping this green up and then drawing a line across there. Then it's own, it's got its own little population doing its thing. Green down here, uh, it'll just use the roundabout. That's not a big deal. What we need is a little bit more red population. We need a couple motorways. We'll see what we get on this last day. Speed through it. Hopefully we get a motorway. Yes. Very good, very good. So now we play the game of efficiencies again. <laughs> so what are we having issues with? Well, we're having is issues here. That can be resolved just by rotating this house. But then again, we are really starving this out. Maybe it just needs the one extra house. We're out of bridges? Oh dear. Ha 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 ha. Indeed, we are out of bridges. The solution to that is to take a bridge back. We won't get the bridge right away because there's a couple that need to get across, but I think this will work. Maybe we do get the bridge back. We do. Cool. And we can always have this still slipping in. A little bit of extra congestion, not a big deal. Can we get a roundabout in here anywhere? No, it's too congested. There we can, but it's really not useful there. <laughs> what else can we do? We can maybe get a roundabout in here somewhere. I mean, that, that would help a little bit, but not really. Maybe if we pull back the road a little bit, then we can get fit, fit one in, but again, we're not seeing a lot of build up there. I think focusing down here is a good thing to do as well. So we've got this motorway. We've got a large population of yellow up here that we can probably just segregate from the rest. Yeah, easily. 
So we put it like this. Actually, let's hold off. We'll cut this road and then put this here. And really just like jam it in. Perfect. And rotate this. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, rotate that. This one stays on this road pointing down. These two can continue their service line that way. Cut here. Well, no, this side's not having issues. It's really just these ones. So we cut here, bring these in as like its own little uh, community almost. And that, that might be good. We're getting into some weird stuff where maybe we rotate this house and then cut here and then bring this one around and bring this one up and at that point do we bring this over here so it's a little more direct for these main groupings yeah i guess so and then uh what's the point of having this bridge at that point because these guys should just go that way instead maybe we'll get extra green housing down here what else does this do does it alleviate un any other issues not really if we really wanted to we could bring in the highway from up here you know what that might actually be the better option to say something like this should happen get a lot of wonky traffic around here but then we can feed it right into this road that doesn't get a lot of use. Has a roundabout right off of it. Blue has a better chance of getting here. These yellow houses uh, need to get connected in some way. Because I just ruined all of that. Let's get you guys back on the roundabout. There we go. We'll just double check, those are connected, yes. And then this probably does better pointing up. Same with this. And this one behind the road. I just cut this green line by accident, so we'll put that back. Any other efficiencies? Probably not. I think that's as good as we're going to get. Maybe rebuild this road on its own, so that uh, if we need more green coming over here, we can get that green sorted. Red now can reconnect yellow pop back over here there we go let's play with this and i think that's as good as we're gonna get we could maybe find a roundabout somewhere no this new house ruined it that is marginally better <laughs> but uh is it worth the investment i think so i think so can't fit anything up here can't really fit anything up here i think we put it down here and really just like make this a little bit better. Then I think these two will wait their turn instead of like disrupting traffic. We have one roundabout left. I'd really like to put it over here somewhere so it's a little less hectic, a little less chaotic. I think that's the only spot that really makes sense. We can always move it later, but again, we're getting up to like 2300 score, so this is about as far as we're gonna get. Just make sure everything is still working. Everything's still ticking. First drivers will be coming onto the highway soon enough. Nothing's flashing, saying that it can't be connected. Not seeing any issues. I'm seeing a bit of a, an issue here. Might be worth to swap some of these unused ones around so that they see the highway. They might get priority in that case. Hopefully. <laughs> but it looks like this is working. It looks like things are moving a little smoother. I have half a mind to make this happen. And then cut here. Or even... Even flow them onto this road. A little bit longer to get places, but... We'll see how it turns out. Everything on this side is looking pretty good now. I mean, this is still... Wish I could make this a little faster, maybe? If I make it, like, slap right into here, it's a more dense location than the other one. That might help out where we need it. This is getting a little bit dicey, so let's slow down once... Oh no, we are slow. Oh no! Okay. Uh, 
what are we looking for? <laughs> We're looking for a way out of this mess. We're up to 2550. So the game's really trying to get us out of this game now. This has to happen just to support this a little better. This is new, so let's connect that. Are we seeing any other pain points? Not really. Purple's figured itself out. It's taking the five. Yellow is doing its thing. Traffic jams galore. I think we just have to live with the pain. Hopefully this helps, because we're really getting to that, like, yikes point. Problem with building new highways is that you have to let all these cars figure themselves out afterwards. Seeing an issue up here. This one's... Oh, we just gotta wait for this stupid car to get across. I think that new bridge just killed me. Hope not. Hopefully these cars can get across in time. Just to slow it down. Look at all those cars! The, the entire fleet is out! So I think it'll be fine. This one is at half capacity. Ooh, it's not looking good. End of Sunday's coming along. A roundabout and a bridge. Now I was just talking about not having bridges. So maybe we take this. I don't think we can fit a roundabout anywhere. And now we have to think about this too. We are having so many issues with this new little spot over here. So the only way that we can make these cars not take this road is if we made it impossible. <laughs> it's literally, if only we could make this impossible. Yes, indeed. Perfect. So now they won't obstruct traffic up here. That'll make it a little more efficient. We're really grasping at straws now. We're really just hoping we can make it a little more efficient here and there, and... Even these little changes, like, what do we do here? We made, like, a small change here, and we almost capped out just because the bridge had to rebuild itself. So, there's a lot of pain right now. <laughs> Can't do anything there. These two reds, I would love to ship them across with the motorway, but we have yet to get another one of those. Just number six, we need Highway 6. But I think we are reaching the top. The top is being reached. These are spawning in. That might be our savior for this light blue down here. I think we go as far as to cut here, maybe? See, I think that these two are actually seeing this as the priority. Nothing else takes this road, right? No. Yeah, cut here. Cool. So this should be prioritized now. Looks like this is under control. We've got a lot of cars. Like, it's all going well. What we could do... It might bungle everything up. Let's use the side street to our advantage. And maybe that'll allow a couple extra blues just to filter in. Save that spot. We've got the two extra cars there. Yellow down here is doing really well. Now that this roadway's in, we've got the traffic split. Like, it's still problematic, I won't deny that. This is literally just exploding, like, we can't do much about this. And I think that's it. What is happening here? Oh no! They completely... <laughs> They're prioritizing this one! No! Ah. Oh. Well, that's it. We tried to make it better, but... I think that's the end. I think we just killed it. Yeah, I think we just killed it. If I had a little extra time, definitely would have replaced or removed this so that these only could go to here. Again, just to make sure that everything that gets the blue is only there. Maybe no, that one car was so close. Oh, oh well. 107 days is nothing to say no at. 2,825 is a beautiful score. And hopefully, when you use these tips, you'll get a similar score. So, just to reiterate, for Los Angeles, you want communities built. You don't want to overlap. Make sure you have a couple bridges just offhand. Um, traffic lights are terrible for Los Angeles. Roundabouts are great because of the size of the place. 
and motorways are king because you always get something weird up here and ask you're going to be asked to cross the map uh, 2825 brings us into the top 1500 so hopefully you can more or less mirror this maybe get a little bit better luck realize my mistake before i did and hopefully that's enough for you to get up to 3000 and click one of the videos up along the top along the left make sure to subscribe past that thanks for stopping by make sure to subscribe make sure to like beijing is next its title will be right about here and you can make sure to hit the subscribe button down here and that's about it thanks take care everyone